Hi everyone, welcome back to the Precious Series and this is Saida and today I wanted to go ahead and do a review um, for Comic Book Math Fun Schooling Journal by The Thinking Tree and these books are created by Sarah Janice Brown um, and I just wanted to show you guys um, these books are really good for uh, kids who have learning disabilities or kids who um, are um, of reluctant to learn or um, you know if you're unschooling um, or if you, they were in a traditional school and they are um, moving into homeschooling um, these books are really good for them uh, this is a journaling coloring and um, learning all together uh, I will go ahead and walk you through some of the pages um, so like you'll see here um, they kind of have the plus sign right here an equal sign and so you can add them together you can color them you can find out how many birds are there how many butterflies and then color them and look for the musical um, notes so as you color you will find these and you can add them um, here you can put the name age and the grade um, and so here you will have a lot of fun um, coloring and here there are some math facts as well as coloring so I think these are really good ways um, to get kids involved who um, are hesitant in learning math because for some kids math does not come easy and then if it's not fun for them and if it feels like a chore then they are, are reluctant to learn in my opinion that's how I see it with my oldest um, who is um, a six-year-old and she's really good and she's beyond her grade level for reading but with math she struggles a bit and these are fun ways to get them into um, so here it teaches the first second you're practicing your writing as well so it goes through that here they go through the missing numbers and more and you can write a short story so as you're doing math you incorporate writing and how awesome is that and you can these are like little dominoes and you can write the numbers and color and here are some more math facts as you see it kind of goes through a little it gives you a little bit of simple math and counting a little coloring and then it, it dives into more of the math facts so it doesn't overwhelm them with just math facts day after day which can get boring especially if it's not something you enjoy here um, these are the grids to draw, draw and um, filling the grids these are very good for logic and um, thinking skills and uh, thinking tree just like the name of the company they really focus on that um, building logic um, and skills um, and it talks a lot about the different parts of your brain and how you know people with the right brain um, how they operate and how people who think with the left brain and I can go more into details or I can um, you know I wouldn't be the best person to talk about that because I don't really have uh, qualifications for that but um, I'm sure um, I know that thinking trees website and dyslexia.com um, offers um, a lot of um, studies and literature on that I will put a link to those bef uh, below for your, uh, for your reference as well as I'll throw up a card for that and you can make your own comics so these are good for boys and girls so you really love this company and what it does for the kids um, this is really great and I can't wait to use it with both of my daughters. So as you see, as it gets deeper into the book, the more math facts it has. But then it throws in a little bit of writing, it throws in a little bit of coloring. Here you um, go through the numbers, chain. So it includes a little bit of everything. keep the kids engaged like I said before so I am really 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 in love with this 
this book and this company and this, especially this author. So um, here we go into the three digit numbers. And then, like you'll see, if you know 14 minus 4 is 10, then it's very easy. 804 minus 4 would be 800. So it kind of helps you, maps it out for you so they can learn. If they know a simpler one, they'll know the bigger number. So it has more. goes into four digit numbers slowly and I am just I just cannot wait this will be a part of uh, one of uh, one weekday I think we will do this um, as part of our um, second grade curriculum as well as kindergarten actually for my little one I will use this as well for her and you can make your own comic here we have a really big tree there more of the grids and you can make your own fun math games so the kids are not just doing it what's told to them they can create their own and so that is the book um, so this again the book is called comic book math fun schooling journal and um, I will go ahead and link the information for them uh, in the description box below and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Alright, until the next video, have a great day.